The indirect war of words between Xbox and PlayStation execs is starting to heat up. This one's going to be fun. Stay with me. We simply release more top quality games in front of more people than any other company. Phil Spencer said that in an interview a few weeks ago, and now Sony and Jim Ryan have decided to fire back, albeit indirectly, much like Phil Spencer and the gang did. So in an interview that I'll link in the description below, Jim Ryan hinted at the idea of throwing money at a problem and that not always solving the problem. And of course, he's talking about Microsoft and their recent acquisition spree and the fact that they spent almost $8 billion acquiring one studio, Bethesda, now, Sony's strategy is to foster relationships over time and then wait for those relationships to mature and then think about an acquisition. They want to see the output of a studio first. They want those games to be exclusive on their platform like Insomniac's games were for many years until they decided to purchase them. That's their strategy. Phil Spencer doesn't like the idea of games not releasing day and date on PC. He really wants Sony to follow suit with what they're doing because, of course, it would be great for Microsoft to get those games on the PC platform day of date. Not only would it mean more players on PC, which could translate into more players for Xbox and trying out their games through Game Pass, but it would also validate their strategy of putting everything everywhere. Now, Sony, for their part are a hardware company. They want to sell $70 games. They talked about top quality. They're looking for more of those AAA, albeit a bit fewer of them than you're used to. And they want those games to release first exclusively on their hardware to sell the hardware and then later on release on PC. Sort of a double dip approach. Now, however you look at this, I don't think it comes as a surprise to anyone that heads of corporations are talking positively about the decisions that their companies make and hyping up those decisions while at the same time trying to indirectly downplay the decisions of competitors. That's what they get paid to do. No big deal here. But in terms of the strategy, my opinion, I think that for the time being, Sony's strategy is working. People have an expectation of quality that's been proven for countless generations. Just looking at the last generation, so I think most people are going to PlayStation for those AAA games. And the, again, the expectation is just very high there. However, once those floodgates start to open with PC releases, and Sony has dabbled in this most recently with Ghost of Tsushima, with Horizon, I do think that Microsoft's strategy of going to PC day and date will eventually be Sony's strategy. And again, console gamers do not care about games on PC. If the game is on their platform, the PlayStation or the Xbox, and they're buying a PlayStation or an Xbox, those games are exclusive to those platforms. So the war of the words is heating up, and I have a feeling it isn't done just yet. Two strategies, I think both can coexist together. And I don't think Sony needs to do what Microsoft's doing. And certainly Microsoft can't do what Sony is doing. They tried it, didn't work. What they're doing right now is working very well for them. I think there's room for everyone. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Think about liking and subscribing and sharing this video out on your favorite social media platform of choice. It would help me grow the channel quite a bit. And I'll see you in the next video.